Hello YouTube users, it's me once again. Um, today, um, I bought, as you know from the um, previous video, I bought a brand new um, Bang & Olufsen E8, which is the complete um, Bluetooth earbuds. And it's quite pricey, but it's worth it. You, got, you get this really nice um, tiny case and inside it, you see the earbuds here. Okay, so the, the first when you charge it, you get two uh, light bulbs. Um, initially, when I plugged it in, uh, the the one on the left, should we say, was in steady light, and the second one was blinking. So I understood that logically that it was charging itself because I presume this there's a battery inside here that it actually charges the um, be earbud itself. Now, you can see that currently the there's an ambient um, light flashing because now it's recharging the earbud itself. So it means that the earbuds are now not fully, currently not fully charged. But anyway, that's how it is at the moment. So to set it up, I'm just going to show you, uh, demonstrate you stage by stage how to connect it and then see how it goes. Okay, so if you see the manual, um, it says that first you need to download the app, which I have done so. So it's the uh, BNO Play, and um, you're supposed to click on the Add Device button here. So I'll press that. So it says Device Nearby. So it's searching for the device nearby. All you have to do is then take out the right hand side of the earbud, and then you press it. Now the button, it doesn't actually feel like a button, normal button that you press in, it goes in, it's steady, it's like a surface, steady surface that you just press it. But when you do, you see the blue uh, light coming on and immediately you can see that uh, the BioPlay E8 text turns up on the app. So you click on that and it says, the next screen, it says personalize. BO play so you can name it whatever you want and then you press next below and then make sure you place both earphones in your ear so let's see um, so both of them before we do that I think on the um, the manual it says that you have to press those two together to synchronize it each other okay that's what I'm doing now it's supposed to, it says that 20 centimeters apart so I think this is about 20 centimeters okay so here it goes now when you um, put it in I think for me because of my shape of my ear I tend to seal it by using the bottom side of my ear and it's perfect fit and it's because the um, the way how it fits, I'm now I feel like it's completely sealed from uh, the outside world. Okay. Anyway, so if I press they are in, it says pair your earphone on your Bluetooth play, uh, playback. So I need to go to the Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, and let's see if uh, E8 is turning up. Oh, here it is. So it's already connected from my um, uh, Bio Play E8. Oh, it's not. Now it's actually trying to set it up. Let's see how it's going. I think we have to wait a while. Now it's connected. So I'm going to the BNO app again. It says it's connected. Um, well, it's asking me to connect it again for some reason. So let's, so let's see that again. It is connected. Oh, it turns out there's another one, the BioPlay E8. So I'm going to press that again. I think probably it's trying to synchronize to, with both of them. Anyway, so it's now connected. And if I go to the screen, it instructs me to tap on the right earphone to play music. So I'm going to tap on it. Yep, so I can hear the music. I can't really hear my voice now, but I can hear the music. 
And then it says tap left earphone to turn on the transparency mode. So I'm doing that now. Yep, so I, I can hear my music while um, I can also hear my surrounding as well. Now it says tap left earphone again to turn off the transparency mode. So it's going back to normal. Yep, so I could see that it's full music mode. Now it says press and hold left ear, um, headphone to turn the volume down. So if I press and hold, I can see that the volume is going down. And it says hold on the right. So if I hold right, I can see the volume is going up. Now, it says uh, tap on the right one to pause the music. If I just tap on it once, the music pauses. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, um, suddenly it shows these logos. So what this is about is you can click on the either left or right. So on the picture itself, and it will show you that uh, BOE8, um, it doesn't really do anything, but if you press on the transparency settings, which is very interesting, you get, uh, you can select the transparency mode. In other words, at the moment, if I press transparency mode, which is on the left, um, it will completely turn off the music. But I have an option to change it to something else. So if I, once I need to go to the transparency mode, if I just click on the uh, left, okay. And then I could choose the ambient mode, social mode, and the commuting mode. So the ambient mode is basically, I understand it to be uh, completely uh, shut off from the surrounding. You can hear the the full music while social is suddenly the volume is completely like 20%, should we say, of a sound and you can hear the rest of the surrounding. And um, commuting is more, It's the volume is a bit more up like 40 or 50% almost half of you can hear the music while you can also hear the surrounding as well. So you can, this is the transparency mode, which is very, very cool uh, because, um, you know, sometimes you want to talk to someone while you listen to the music as well. So the way how it works, uh, someone thought about it very logically, which is that if you um, tap twice onto the right, you go to the next track. If you type left uh, twice, then you go to the previous track. Um, and if you hold on the right, um, right hand side button, then the volume goes up. And if you hold on the left hand side of the button, uh, then it goes, the volume goes down. If you tap right, just once, then it's pause. Um, while as if you type, uh, press once on um, the left, then you go to the transparency mode. So that's how it works. So it's, it's very easy to work on and it's very easy feed as well. And um, the, the only thing that I wanna highlight is that more and more people, when I walk along central London, is that they're starting to use more and more of these AirPods. And I just think the design personally, it looks dreadful. Uh, it makes that person look like a geek and I don't want to look like a geek. I want to make myself unique. And I mean, this fits really well. And I love the design, the way how it's fit. And plus we have the very luxurious uh, BNO uh, logo on it. So it makes you look very trendy as well. It's uh, released today. I don't know how many people are going to buy it, but uh, I can see that many people are going to buy it. Uh, it's quite pricey, but it's worth it. The sound quality is excellent. It's one of the best I heard. Um, I tried the beat sound and the beat is, is not too loud. It's not breaking. It's well settle, settled and you can f feel the true quality 
of uh, banging out Olufsen's uh, sound. It, it's just amazing. And and um, I'll definitely recommend anyone, if you're really into music, uh, buy one, get one now. Um, maybe, uh, actually I booked one this morning because I went on the website and um, I basically pressed on the notify me I've been told it's going to be released on the 12th of October, which is today. Um, when I looked on it this morning, it, it asked me to press notify me, so I understood that probably it wasn't released uh, as what they promised. But um, once I pressed it, about a couple of hours later, about nine o'clock, I received an email saying that it is released indeed. And um, I immediately called um, Harrod because that's where we normally buy stuff because we can get 10% discount as well. And I booked one under my name. Um, when I arrived there, quite a few people were queuing up. So I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people was aware that this product was coming out. And I was one of the lucky ones who managed to buy these uh, lovely earpieces. Look at it, this is really nice design. Um, high quality music and it just makes you it's a very subtle design. It doesn't make you show off, but when someone looks at you very, very carefully, they know you're a very trendy person. You're not one of those Apple geek, um, but a very fashionable person. Um, obviously my hairstyle is terrible, but I just wanna, overall, I just wanna say that I love this product. Um, one of the downside immediately what I can see is that um, when you're trying to fit in this, inside your ear um, I tend to sort of you know overlay with my bottom side of my ear but while I do that the button is quite sensitive so it could kind of when you're trying to adjust the position of your ear it could affect the sound it could pause the music or it could suddenly put into transparent mode well you could just easily press it and then uh, restore it to a normal mode but the button seems to be quite uh, sensitive, but um, it's a minor thing, I would like to say. But other than that, I'm really impressed with it. I love the design. I mean, look at it. I mean, it looks, compared to the appearance of this, to an AirPod, the, um, the, ear, <laughs> the, the AirPod, um, I mean, no question, I mean, what, what can you say? I mean, isn't this more trendier? It's up to you to decide. I know it's pricier, but I think AirPods are about 200 quid, isn't it? Um, I don't know, but if you pay an extra, if it is, if you pay an extra 50 quid in UK, you could get a much better quality sound and a much more trendy look. So definitely I recommend it. And um, I hope uh, this video convinced you to buy one of these products and Thank you very much for watching this video. This is Love Jesus Please. Bye-bye.